This is the story of how health insurance hijacked our health care. Way back in World War II, new labor laws were introduced to the U.S. The government froze wages and allowed employers to start offering tax-free health benefits to stay competitive. In 1965, President Johnson signed Medicare into law. This took people who needed care the most and made it free. Over the years, Medicare covered more and more services, inserting the middleman between doctors and patients. Price was now disconnected from the patient. To stay competitive, private insurers followed suit and administrative overhead grew tremendously. There were now more administrators than active physicians. Because the price and the patient were now disconnected, price began its steep journey uphill. As administrative overhead grew, so did the cost. Healthcare prices increased by 2,300% between 1970 and 2009. Essentially, in 2010, the Affordable Care Act took something that wasn't working and told everyone they had to buy it. This catapulted healthcare into the state it's in today, but it doesn't have to be this way. With direct primary care, you change the game. Find out if direct primary care can save you money on healthcare. Visit healthcoveragereview.com.